when all of your wishes are granted, many of your dreams will be destroyed. What's up guys, Full Kibbles here. Today I'm going to be reviewing one of the best, like, albums I've been listening to recently. This was sent by, once again, I, I talked to him, uh, or I talked to, uh, I talked about him in the wall review, uh, which you've seen. He sent me this album for mail. Uh, once again, pretty nice guy. Once again, go check out his channel. But he turned me on to Marilyn Manson, or at least his album, Antichrist Superstar. And uh, it's pretty cool. Because uh, of like, the original sleeve. And then the alternative cover. If I can get it out here. <laughs> you know, backside. Uh, but yeah, this album is pretty decent. It's kind of like a, a concept like rock opera I think it's more of like a concept album it's split up into three different parts I'll be making three different videos about this album uh, it's pretty it's pretty long it's like uh, 17 17 18 minutes long um, the first cycle is called uh, the Harrowpint and then there's uh, cycle two inaugurgation of the worm I think it's called uh, and then Cycle 3, Disintegrator Rising. And we're today we're going to be talking about Cycle 1. Now, before I get into this, um, the first part of the album, it, first, it starts off with this per person who's like a worm. And then he transforms into like this like angel. Like, angel with the scabbed wings. And then he becomes like a full-blown demon. And then like the apocalypse happens. And it's just like some loose concept that Manson made about it, but... Anyway, we're starting off with uh, my favorite Manson song and the first track on the album, Irresponsible Hate Anthem. And I just, I love everything about the song. It's just so, like, the like the snares, like, the blast beats are so, like, cl like it's, like, clanky and stuff. And it's, like, really, like, hollow. And you can really hear, like, the rawness of it. And I just love that. And, uh, well, first it starts off with... Um, it, this this makes more sense when you listen to the end of it, but it starts off with the quote, um, "When you are suffering, know that I have betrayed you," and then you can hear. And this was recorded like live, uh, and or I think it was recorded live. I don't know. It sounds like a, a live track. You can hear like the crowd cheering and everything, but you can hear the crowd saying, "We hate love, we love hate," or something like that. And then the song actually like kicks in, and it's a uh, you know, and it's just a really forceful song, and then after that, it turns into The Beautiful People, which is, like, uh, one of the radio hits, it's the lead single, and it's, it's kind of about, like, um, I, I don't really know, I think it's about, like, people being, like, treated, like, like, it's, like, the odd one out, or something, and it's, like, kind of how, like, the, like, people, like, treat, like, the minority of society, kind of, uh, Dried up, tied up, and dead to the world. Um, every time I think about that, every time I, th I think about this track, I think, Jesus! <laughs> anyway, um, it's a pretty decent song. I really liked that one at first, but now it's like, yeah. Anyway, uh, Tourniquet. This is where we close off uh, Cycle 1, The Harrowpint. Uh, it's a really slow, uh, slow jam, kind of. Or at least that start is. Um, I don't know. It's uh, it's just decent. <laughs> I don't know. The first cycle is not. You know, it's just fine. Uh, we really get into like the good stuff in like the the second cycle. At first, I hated the second cycle, but like now I'm like really starting to dig it. But yeah.